We're Tyler and Todd, and for the last three months, we've been working day in and day out preparing the land, 10 acres of forest in Nova Scotia, Canada, as a site for our off-grid tiny home. We've learned so much over these last few months, and today is finally the day that we move to the land. We can't wait to share it with you. Come along. I want to run away with you. Hello and welcome back to our channel. It feels so weird opening a vlog this time of day. I'm sure <laughs> you guys can tell, but it's actually like after supper because we spent the whole day getting the RV and the land ready with some last minute things because tomorrow morning we are finally moving up there. If you've been following along, you know how much work it's been to get to this point. So it all feels a little surreal. And also a little yeah. scary because like things aren't fully ready. Like we don't have the solar figured out. The water, we're just going to have our holding tank to get us through. Yeah. The like, chocolate fiasco has still not been figured out from last week's out. video. No. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things that we don't have figured out, but that's okay. We're going to figure them out as we go. Yeah. We like didn't know a single thing when we left almost a year ago. It's crazy. It's not even been a year. So yeah. we can figure this out. Exactly. But... We have a lot to do between now and tomorrow morning. Yeah, so. we've got to finish packing here. We've got to move some yeah, firewood. Yeah, what it looks up. like in here. Yeah. It's like a bomb went off. So yeah, before we move up the RV tomorrow, we want to try and lift up as much firewood as we can, just because the RV will be in the way. So we're going to do that. It's yeah. going to be a lot of work to do that. We got this. If not, we'll be sleeping in mom and dad's <laughs> basement tonight. <laughs> you ready to do it? Yeah, let's, let's go. So Todd being the genius he is decided that it would be best to back up right here and just throw the wood up to the woodshed. Yeah, watch, we're actually making more work for ourselves. <laughs> so the original plan was just to drop it off here and then we would use the wheelbarrow to bring it up to the woodshed, but I think that this is a good idea. I got something you can't explain la 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 In a metaphysical kind of way that was a lot of hard work. Yeah, but we're half done because we still have one more load, but yeah. it's not happening today. Todd pointed out though, when we were loading the wood, that we don't think that what we cut in the spring is gonna be enough to get us through the winter. Well, we're just really stuck because it's our first winter. So I don't know, yeah. I'd rather have way too much wood than way too little. Yeah, because we can always use it the Ain't following the year. Tea. <laughs> Sorry. Also, <laughs> earlier today, we, when we were up here, we, um, I don't know if you can see, but there's um, a bunch of X's on some trees back there. The reason that we needed to do that is we need to clear some um, ground space for our solar system. Um, as you can probably tell, there's not enough open um, space to the sky. So um, yeah, we'll just use some of that wood for... Yeah, we'll just, like we can cut it down in the next couple days and then, because the panels don't get in until next week, so we've got yeah. a few days to pick away at cutting those. And then we're just probably going to leave them there and as we get cool days that aren't like 32 plus humidity... It's super, super hot here. It's like... Yeah, we'll cut them... 95 in the US. Yeah, we'll cut them at that point, but right now... I need to go home, I need to have a shower, I need to have a glass of wine, and then we need to pack up the RV because we're moving tomorrow. Which is super exciting. All this hard work. Yeah. All right. Feels Let, good. Let's get going because okay. I'm sticky, you're sticky, and that was the grossest hug I've ever had. Sorry. <laughs> Ready? All right, we'll see you back there. Everything is everywhere. We're about to move, which means that everything that is everywhere is going to be everywhere, everywhere. We've been working for months doing this. I know. You feeling less stressed? I'm way less stressed, but I'm feeling way sweatier. It's so it's humid really today. It's humid. But of course, it's like the hottest day ever. Exactly, but it's gonna be good because it's shaded up there and it's gonna be nice, so. Yeah, so we have to now disassemble everything in the RV, like all the glass, all that kind of stuff, like a typical moving day. Um, and then hitches up, wheels up. And out we go. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay. So I'm filling up our freshwater tank. Oh, we're now at seven. There's seven hornets that have gone into, this is where our power cord comes out, but they've not come out. So I think there might have been a nest built in there while we've been parked. Yeah, big nest. Big nest? Yeah. 
I don't think that's a good idea. He said he's gonna stab it with a stick and run. Wow, there's a lot. Oh my gosh. Todd just got stung a bunch of times. I feel bad for him, but that's why I was not involved with that project whatsoever. Um, he's on his way to the store to pick up some spray, or actually I think he's gonna check with his aunt and uncle first if they have any. Um, we're gonna try and find a way to get rid of this. You're doing great, sweetie. It makes a little rainbow when you shoot it. Gay rights. Got them all? With the little things we do Just keep a smile, hold your head up high I promise it works every time RV is finally on the land. Whew, it's a lot of emotions. It's really hard to put into words what we're feeling right now, but spending every day of the last three months working on making this dream come true and then finally seeing our home there, um, it's a lot. Before coronavirus happened, had you have told me we would be living in the woods off grid, I never would have believed you. Um, but that's the thing about life, is you get these opportunities and these gifts that come your way, and you have the choice to take them or to complain, and we really took a bad situation and turned it into the greatest accomplishment and pride I think I've ever felt. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I was not expecting to get emotional, to be honest. Um, it's pretty cool. Anyway, Todd is feeling pretty stressed, rightfully so. <laughs> we still don't have solar. Um, we don't have the composting toilet or the water figured out. Um, but you know what? We're going to figure all those things out, and it's going to be great. <laughs> Sorry. So Todd's feeling really stressed and he kind of wants the afternoon just for himself to listen to music and just kind of organize everything, which I totally get. We're very different in that sense. We handle stress differently. Um, so I'm going to give him that space and I'm going to head into town and I'm going to pick us up some solar lights and stuff for a barbecue tonight and a nice bottle of wine. I really want our first night here to be special and um, something we'll always remember. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a lot. Um, in a really good way. Anyway, I'm going <laughs> to turn the camera off and just be present. How are you feeling? Good. Is it a puppy? <laughs> yes, because a third dog is exactly what we need. Such an odd do Tiki torches. Oh. Is there anything in the back? Oh, no. Things get messy when Kim comes over. Like one glass and I'm white girl wasted. Is that an offensive term? Hmm. I mean, white girls are the worst when they they're are. wasted, so. Anyway. I'll be one tonight. <laughs> oh, this is good to tell how fast your metabolism works. Oh my god, Todd. <laughs> I figured we'd have a little barbecue night. Nice. Um, do you want to do Beyond Burgers? Sure, you're so much happier now. I am. I mean, there's still so much to figure out with, like, the solar and, like, we need to clear so many trees and... But guess what? I'm stressed because I don't think we have enough firewood, so we need to cut more. But guess what? What? It's all going to work out. Exactly. 
and the sun is setting and is setting really quickly so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on installing all those solar lights there's quite a few I can so help. It'll take do you want to yeah I don't mind got nothing better to do <laughs> We're on land time, time now. Yeah, yeah land time. Exactly. Like hey, Eddie. Hey. You on land time too, buddy? Nothing matters at the land. Yeah. <laughs> Except right. for actually getting the solar lights in because we have no electric, so yeah. that does kind of matter. We literally have zero electricity. Zero. We've got the sun and each other. Now, and now he's in a good mood. You can hear him singing. Okay, we need to um, get started on this and... Yeah, we're gonna get it done. Wow, this is so annoying. What? Now my hand? Okay, you're gonna break them. I need you to calm down. Just like strangle me with these. Do you want them turned on while you're strangled for a nice ambient experience? Or just to really set the choking mood? <laughs> That's pretty good, hey? This might be the first time I've been under the table sober. I'm so, so excited to see it all lit up. I know, I want it to be night already. I know. Don't wish the day away, young pup. What are you making? These are barbecued corn, which is the best way to have it. Then I'm gonna do roasted potatoes in tin foil, and we're having Beyond Burgers with some, like just veggies stirred in fajita sauce or like something like that. That'll be really good. Yeah. Beyond what you thought? Oh, like doesn't even compare. Wow. The pond lights are so pretty. Hello, Mr. Tomato. <laughs> Here, Carl. Food's all prepped and ready to go? Yeah, we're ready. Maybe 20, 25 minutes, give me notice and I can have you a five-star meal at a paper plate price. <laughs> a literal paper plate. <laughs> I am going to go in and get us a sweater. Do you want one? Yeah, can you get me the wool one? It actually gets kind of chilly when the sun goes down. Yeah, sure. God, it's so, like, can you hear the I know, the birds. Amazingly. Just so quiet here and like there's a breeze and the birds and yeah. Feels weird in the hammock. What do you mean? It was like four months ago, a little less than mm. four months ago that we were in this hammock and had to make the decision to go back to Canada. Oh yeah, when um, we were in Tampa. Yeah, when all of the stuff was going on with COVID. Oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot about that. And then now we're like waking up and like have accomplished so much. I mean, there's still so much to get done. You know what though? We've also done so much. There will always be time tons of stuff. <laughs> there will always be time for the bow, but there will always be stuff to do. Yeah, no, eventually I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first person in <laughs> the world to finish everything on my to-do list, I swear. What I do know is we do not have a composting toilet, mm -hmm. so... <laughs> no. Because I can go, I'll dig you a hole. That's love. I'll dig you a hole. You. <laughs> it's not happening. I'll put it right by a tree so you can, like, hold onto the tree and aim your butt backwards. So today's tasks definitely. We had in the woods before, though. Right? 
once. This is enough chatter about this. Twi no, you were twice, weren't you? <laughs> you did it twice. We're moving on. I did it once and I didn't do it right. And I ruined a pair of underwear. Todd. Now you know. <laughs> do it right. But back then there wasn't YouTube. Now I would watch a YouTube video of how to poop in the woods before I pooped. Well, <laughs> I have no intentions to ruin a pair of underwear today, so we, <laughs> we really need to figure out how to install the toilet today. That's non-optional. Did you use moss or leaves? Let's just relax for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go install, okay? All right. It's enough poop talk. <laughs> Yesterday morning when we woke up, we realized, wow, there's still quite a few branches that are over top of the RV. So it's really important that we removed as much of those as possible, especially being in Halifax. It's a coastal city and we do get a lot of hurricanes around here. So we just wanted to be safe and do the extra precaution. So my task for the day is to go through removing all of the branches from this. It's gonna take a little bit of extra time, but it's worth it. So I am gonna go get started on that. Oh, 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 and it keeps getting better. It only gets better. Oh, 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 and it keeps getting better. It only gets better. Surprisingly, it only took about an hour, maybe a little bit more. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer than that. But right here is where we're gonna store all of the brush, just for the time being. Over the next few nights, we're just gonna burn it in the fire. And then right here is obviously all of the wood that we dropped off the other night. But here is where we're gonna store the wood. So if you remember in the video that we made where we put up this wood shelter, it's gonna be the perfect thing to just keep our wood nice and dry and out of the elements. And then over here by our composting bins is where we're gonna store all of our surplus extra wood for trees that we have to remove for the solar or like I said, the covering over the RV. And then we're also gonna go collect all of the down wood from the forest, and that's where we're gonna store that as well. So when we run out of wood in here, we can just top it up from there without actually having to chop down trees, which is pretty sweet. But anyway, I am gonna go grab something to eat and check in on Todd. You got yourself quite the little setup here. Yeah, thank you. It's an outdoor kitchen, but... What are you making us for lunch? Uh, nothing for us. I am making hummingbird food. You're not serious. Yes. Everyone here needs to leave with a full belly. I thought you were actually making us something. No. We haven't eaten lunch. <laughs> okay. The birds haven't, I don't know when the last time is that they ate, so. There's no food here. There is not. Unless you're a hummingbird and then this is a buffet. You know, I can't really tell if you're joking, but knowing you, <laughs> this it's is- It's hummingbird food, like I'm not joking. <laughs> I'll figure out something for lunch. All right, well. This is less exciting than I thought it would be. <laughs> Unless you're a hummingbird. Then... Yeah, I mean, if you're a hummingbird, this is probably the best news you've heard all day. They're like, oh, finally. <laughs> They're like, we need a Gates to move in here a long time ago. I've been starving, honey. Yeah, this is really gay content. We're starving, not having lunch, <laughs> making hummingbird food. But you know what? Snow White would do the same thing. She sure would. She said, I got seven dwarves to feed, but I'm going to feed the birds first. Well, I mean, they put on her dress for her, so you gotta do something. Is that Cinderella? I don't know. Maybe. No, she gets dressed by three mice. <laughs> do you have any mice food? <laughs> All right, no. okay. Oh, we did feed the squirrels. A couple of years ago, we, I um, bought us squirrel food, so then... Todd, as interesting as this is, I'm literally starving, and I was so excited thinking that you were making us food, so I'm gonna go make us food so we can continue on with the laundry list of tasks that we have to do because you are gonna be stressed if we don't get them done. But. Right, right? The hummingbirds are not gonna be stressed if they're gonna find food. No, they're sure not. All right. Hopefully we find hummingbirds here. We don't even know if we have them. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Did you make, cause I contributed to lunch 
hummingbird food and a half-eaten bag of no-name barbecue chips. What are you contributing? I just made pasta salad, but we're using paper Christmas plates that we found at Todd's parents' house, so. Because we don't have water rate yet to do our dishes, so we're using paper plates until we get like a solid supply. We've got enough for like drinking and stuff like that, but. Yeah, I mean, it'll do the trick for now. We're yeah. hopefully gonna have that figured out sooner rather than later. Yeah. So, oh wow, I made this pretty wow, big. Wow, that is massive. That's pretty big for a lunch, isn't it? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Don't have to twist our arms. <laughs> um, What's in it, mushrooms? A bunch of stuff. Let's eat this and then um, we're gonna go tackle the composting toilet together. Now time to feed the birds. <laughs> feed me birds! It does look really good. You did a great job, muscle man. And look how great that looks. Beautiful. Thank you. I did good. All right, toilet time? Toilet time. <laughs> so, I'll give you an update of what we've done so far. So we're gonna go through the floor. I drilled two holes to put two screws in to attach it. And then this is leftover bug netting. So I'm just gonna put it, I cut a piece off, gonna put it like that, and then put the hose on it like this. I don't need no bugs coming in when I'm trying to take a poop. Oh my god, Todd. June bug flopping around in there. <laughs> so, um, I've already drilled through to up top, if you want to go check out what I did inside. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So this is the throne for the poop palace. It diverts the urine in the front, and the number two goes through this little pocket door. And then this is the base. I've just put four screws in, attached it to the floor, right over top the tile, and then we're just gonna put the toilet right on here, and then plug in our drains, or sorry, not our drains, our vent and our electric, and then we should be good to go. Do you know what the best part about the installation of this toilet is? What? Because I did the install, that means you're always gonna be the one emptying it, and I love that feature <laughs> of the toilet. <laughs> you are very, very incorrect with that, sir. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Hey, buddy. One of my favorite things in life is when you set out to do a task and it ends up being way easier and takes way less time than you thought. I know, it's actually such a cool feeling. It like buys you time. And I think today you and I both kind of had a realization that before we'd be like, okay, that's awesome. That means we can get so much more done. Yeah. But I'm trying to be like more in the moment and this is what was set out to be done today. If it's done early, then that means that we have time for us. The rest or of the stuff. Relax or whatever we want to do. Charlie. So we are just on our way in the path to the river. Yeah. And we're just going to go chill there for the night and just relax. Yeah. So. I'm excited. We've got some soap. We're gonna shower. We don't actually have soap. We're not showering. <laughs> All right, we'll see you at the river. <laughs> Someone order some food tip. Boys, go get it. It's so perfect here, just peaceful. The boys are just loving it. I think everyone's loving it. Yeah, but I think we're gonna end this week's video here. It's been a long couple of days, but yeah, we made Feels it. Good. Yeah, still have a lot to do, but there, we finally got a shower. <laughs> It'll all work out. Exactly. So well, we'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.